Hey guys, this is Ballin and today I want to show you the best black eye spots on the map Oregon. As always, we're starting downstairs, so our first objective is in laundry room. So, the first camera I'd put above the objective into lobby. Even though there is already a standard camera, this one uh, gets shot so quickly, so a good spot would be at this ceiling fan for example. The second camera I'd put into meeting hall, so a very good position would be underneath this table over here. And well, the cam camera is basically just visible from the side, so it's quite a hidden camera. And if you shoot this bench in front of the camera, you can see even more. And now the last camera I put into the hallway downstairs or into construction because very often enemies will come from this hallway or from construction and you'd be able to see them uh, before they are at the door so <laughs> no one will catch you by surprise. So this first position at the door frame would be quite good. Uh, you can as well put it somewhere uh, at the ceiling but then you won't see that much but of course, on the other hand, it's it's a lot more hidden, so you have to decide if you want more visibility and a better view or uh, less visibility and, well, not that good of a view. And this one would be quite good as well, so you can even hear if someone is in tower. And in construction, you can put the camera next to this light over here. Uh, if the, the enemies got a blur, and bloom effects um, turned on, they won't even see the black eye. But this is how it looks if you got the bloom effects on and the lens effects and stuff, so you can't really see it. And another good position would be in the supply room at the light over here, so you might want to use this if it's bombs. Alright now, the next objective is in meeting hall, so the first camera I'd put above the objective into skybridge or you might as well call it attic. So a good position would be at the light over here. This one is really hidden and you can basically see the whole skybridge and of course you can put it behind the light at the ceiling over here so you will even see the area around the ladder. The second camera I'd put into lobby or in kitchen, so you could ag again go for the ceiling fan or the light at the ceiling. And in kitchen you could put the black eye into the microwave, but this is not really the best position, because it's, it's quite hidden, but uh, you don't see that much from the spot. And well, you can as well shoot this um, wall over here, or open it with a nitro cell and put the black eye behind it at the table so this black eye would be really hidden and you can basically see the whole kitchen uh, plus the door which leads to to the room next to meeting hall this little supply room but if you don't want to waste your nitro cell or your ammo you can of course go for this spot as well uh, above the, the cupboard over here so you could as well see both doors it it doesn't provide that good of a view uh, compared to the other black eye, but it's still quite good. And well, the third camera I put into a rear stage at the big tower. So very often uh, enemies will come from this tower and try to open the walls upstairs or downstairs. So you could could put a black eye over here. The best position would be at the stairs downstairs. And if you open this wall over here, you can even see the door on the left. But of course, if you want to, you can put the black eye into the tower as well. So a very good spot would be over here at the light or at the light over here or somewhere, somewhere underneath the catwalk upstairs in the big tower. So you would still see those, those stairs and you can tell if someone tries to come from above. Our next objective is in dining hall, so the first black eye I'd put into the office or you might as well call it the small tower. So this black eye over here would be really good. It is quite hidden underneath the stairs and provides still a really good view. 
And of course you could go for this lamp as well. Provides a perfect view and is really hidden. So I like this spot really a lot. Or you could as well put it underneath the catwalk in the little tower over here. Somewhere at the, at the metal ceiling. So this spot would be quite hidden as well and you still can see uh, everything you need to see. The second camera I put into kitchen again, so a very good spot would be over here above the refrigerators. So you would still be able to see that door over there and you can tell if someone tries to go in from this side. If you want to cover lobby and kitchen by yourself and don't need a black eye over there, you can as well put one into this corridor over here or into the showers. So you will see if someone is trying to, to go in from the hallway over here and this hallway is quite frequently used as well if the objective is in dining hall. And now the last black eye I throw outside so you can go for the barbecue over there and throw it onto the barbecue. So this would be quite a hidden spot and you can basically see the door and everything outside on the south side. Or you could just run out this main door and throw it onto the silo on the left or somewhere near the barbecue because this door is far enough away from, from the spawns so you can easily just run out and throw a black eye outside and barricade the door again and no one uh, will, will notice it. So you can go for the black eye at the barbecue or this one at the at the roof over there. So you got a quite good view over here. And of course you could then jump out the little tower and try to kill attackers in front of the door. And of course the last objective is upstairs in the dorms. So the first camera you can put into the stairs over here. But this spot is quite common, so a better spot would actually be in the master bedroom in this broken TV screen. So it is actually not broken at the beginning of the round, but you can break it and then throw the camera inside this, the, the broken parts. So it is quite a good, quite a good uh, spot if it's in there because it's really hidden and then you can for example, shoot those walls over there or use a nitro cell, use some impact nades to open up these walls and then you will see the whole staircase plus armory and master bedroom with this one camera. And of course you could put the camera into one of these shelves as well so you would be able to see the stairs as well from this spot. But of course you can put the camera into the small dorms as well at the slide for example because very often you will have the situation that someone is securing the objective from the, the bat over here and your teammates are somewhere around the, the objective room so you could tell them where the enemies are. And now the second camera I throw outside from this window uh, you can reach this spot over here. This spot is quite good but there are actually better spots, for example on this silo. It is, uh, you can throw it over there from the window in the small tower. And from this spot you can of course see a lot. You can see the windows at kids dorms, the tower and the whole roof. So if you use this spot with the second spot over here, uh, you can see everything outside. So this spot is quite cool as well. You can uh, just throw the black eye at the windmill from the window in the small tower and you will see the other side of the building. So with those two camps combined you can see pretty much everything outside. Of course you could throw it onto the school bus as well so this spot would be quite good as well. Alright guys that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did so don't forget to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. See you next time. I played the game and I'm still the same and I never changed just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin'. I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's nothing.